Hello there, my very good friends. On today's wrestling news, Becky Lynch blasts WWE booking. A major change to the AEW Wrestle Dream card as a top star is out. CK apologizes for AEW Dynamite technical issues. And I'm going to tell you what really happened in the Moxley Phoenix disaster on Dynamite last week. I'm Adam Wilborn. And I'm Andy Murray. And this is the news. Hardest news show in the game. Let's kick this thing off by talking about Becky Lynch. She's given a very open, honest, frank and fair interview with the New York Post in which she's been pretty critical of the way WWE's women's division is booked, specifically the Raw women's division. I think that her criticisms here are very well put. Yeah. Uh, so let's go through them. New York Post interview, I'll read the first quote, shall I? Uh, Currently, we are a little light on women with credibility on Raw. So anyway, I can give these women who are great credibility, give them a match, give them an outing, showcase them in a championship match. I think that only benefits everyone. It benefits the audience because we have more women that we care about and more women that I can beat. So a little bit kayfabe in the end there. Mm -hmm. Uh, But she's talking about her ongoing series of matches, which will be Tegan Knox on Monday if she gets past Tevin Strata. Yes. Did I do the impression? Okay. Yeah, sweet. Uh, at no mercy this weekend. Um, but yeah, this is kind of when she gets into the booking a little bit. Uh, she says, I need people to come up. I need people on this level. But if nobody's getting any TV time, if nobody's getting any story time, then they can't rise up because nobody knows who the hell they are. Becky pinpointed uh, Zoe Stark, Indy Hartwell, Zia Lee, and Candice LeRae as wrestlers she feels has have the potential to play a bigger role. Mm-hmm on Raw. Uh, she's got some particularly nice praise here for Zoe. Uh, there's a bit of kayfabe in here again, because <laughs> wrestling. Uh, being in the ring with her, she is phenomenal. She is intense, she is athletic, she loves this. She is great. She's an asshole. <laughs> 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 but she's great. And with a bit of time, she is going to be a big star and a main player. So I think this is very refreshing. I think that um, it's very understandable why wrestlers, uh, when they're doing media appearances, won't offer like criticisms like this when they're talking about their employers. I get it 100%. But at the same time, when you have the level of security that a Becky Lynch has within a company, uh, and you've established yourself to the degree that she has over the past mm-hmm. like X amount of years, um, you are in a position where you can offer these constructive criticisms. And I don't think that anyone can look at Becky's words here and go, hey, she's being really harsh. Because one of the major downsides of this entire Triple H creative makeover, or whatever you want to call it, that he hasn't always booked the women's divisions all that consistently. What he's delivered is big time pay-per-view matches uh, at various occasions when it's counted. So like your your Bianca Belair stadium matches, for example. And the Rhea Ripley title reign is great because Rhea is just a sensational presence. Um, At the same time, the week to week storytelling to get to these big matches often isn't quite there. Yeah, I think it's a fair assessment of the Raw Women's Division. Like, look at it right now, and other than Becky Lynch because of the star she is, and Nia Jax because she's just coming in, she's squashing everyone, would you buy anyone else, Jade Cargill not counting, would you buy anyone else that could take that title from Rhea Ripley? You wouldn't because no one's been built up. This is it. This is it. I love Zoe Stark, but I wouldn't buy a title change with her in it. This is it, and it's like, it's often the thing where there'll, there'll be a title program, there'll be a women's tag team title program, but not a whole lot else. No. And that's that's the case here. Look, it, American wrestling is rife with these problems. Uh, of the big three in American wrestling, Impact is probably doing the best job mm-hmm. uh, in terms of balancing out TV time and everything else. And they've got some very, very talented wrestlers over there, of course. Um, but yeah, it, it's been a thing for ages and uh, I, I don't know when it changes. Yeah, room for improvement. And don't go, you know fall back on the whole, well, what about AEW? Yeah, they need to improve too. Yeah, it's that like... That doesn't you, mean that... that WWE gets away scot-free with this. This is it. Like the, it, We'll talk a little bit more about this in the questions at the end, actually. Uh, certain behaviours. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, let us know what you think down below. How would you fix the women's division? How Do you think it needs fixed? Is it fine as it is? I mean, I disagree with you if that's your viewpoint, but let us know down below. Everyone's different. Yeah. Check out this segue, Andy. Ooh. Most women within a, a, a WWE have got long hair. I'll tell you who else has got long hair. Adam Cole. Good. He's missing Wrestle Dream this weekend. I apologise for laughing at that. I don't mean to that because I saw the picture of his ankle that was shared by Britt Baker on X. Looked like it sucked. Yeah. I, I take back all words that I said on yesterday's news about him 
tweaking his ankle. Yeah, it he shattered like, it. It looked like Grimace's ankle, man. Oh it was god, just disgusting. Do you remember that photo I showed you? When after I did, I turned it slightly at football. Oh no, has nothing compared to what Adam looked like. Was that the night you turned turned up to my house to move a sofa, wearing a leg brace? No, that was <laughs> that was a way more embarrassing story. Yeah, I agreed to help Andy at the weekend uh, move his sofa, and about two hours before, I was taking some, I don't know, grass cuttings from the back garden. <laughs> I had my flip-flops on, because it was a nice day, and I dropped them in the uh, the green bin, and it bounced and landed on my toe. Sick. Um, <laughs> anyway, Adam Cole, yeah, his ankle is absolutely buggered. Uh, he came out last night, not only on crutches, but with a big cast going on. He uh, He's broken his ankle in three places and torn ligaments. He requires surgery, so he is off the Wrestle Dream card, but his best friend, and my best friend, Maxwell Jacob Friedman, will will still defend the Ring of Honor tag team titles. He didn't want to just relinquish them. He's going to have a handicap match against the Righteous my on boys. Sunday. Um, fascinating this. Yeah. We saw it coming. Yes. We saw this move coming. We, t we talked about it yesterday. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about how we think this match might go when we do a predictions video. Oh. That'll be going out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that uh, on the channel tomorrow afternoon for Wrestle Dream, Walk Culture Wrestling, hardest news channel in the game. <laughs> um, yeah, we saw it coming. I hope Cole isn't out for long. Those pictures the Brit shared were were gross, uh, but also like it, it adds a level of uh, sympathy to it as well. As if you need to be more sympathetic towards Adam Cole, who's the nicest yeah. man alive. Um, but yeah, it adds something to it. There was some interesting developments on the show with like a bunch of masked men beating Ooh. beating the chief up at the end there and stuff as well. So Simon Miller will tell you all about that. And hey. God, I'm a shill for my own content. And I've got uh, more content. Oh. Ah! Q&A podcast that we did on this yesterday. What yeah. Culture Wrestling podcast on YouTube. Go and subscribe over there. Uh, loads of big announcements about what we got coming up on there as well if you go and check out that video. Yeah, they talk everything. Eh? WWE parenting. It's all there. <laughs> it's all there, <laughs> brother. Uh, let's move over. That's important advice. People yeah. need it. Uh, pizza. We had an argument about pizza. Pineapple bad. Uh, I heard sweet corn mentioned. I again. said sweet corn. Because, because my, my pizza of choice is... Pepperoni and sweet corn, and pepperoni had already gone, so I tried on sweet corn. And okay. Have you ever heard of nudja? Induja? Induja, like, yeah, Induja. Yeah, I've uh, never heard of it. Spi Sidge, spicy salami pizza. Sidge dropped that yesterday, and in his accent, and I thought he was just talking Induja? a different language. Induja? He's talking a different language, if I'm perfectly honest. Yeah, uh, man. It's good, it's good, but it's very hipster, so I'm not surprised. Oh, for Michael Sidgwick. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised he picked that. Ah, he's off today. I don't yeah. sound like I'm saying yeah. something. Right. Love you, Sidgwick. Yeah, the elite suck. I'm only joking, I'm only joking, <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> More on that in the Twitter questions. Like. Uh, I like the elite. I'm just being a dick. Uh, the righteous better. Well, can you click your fingers? I can't do it, man. Go and do the. Okay, I'll do it timing I'll yours. Do the, we'll I'll shook. do the okay. guitar. Vincent Dutch. Let's move on to our next story. On this. Okay, Judge, what are you going for our next story? <laughs> what on earth was that? This is my uh, Judge, Judge Exchange. You are... Welcome to the news. we got a fun story for you. <laughs> Uh, you are lucky I'm not your manager. Um, <laughs> our next story surrounds technical issues on last night's episode of Dynamite. Um, we, this was new to me when I woke up because I don't watch Dynamite in the United States. Yes. Um, oh, we were watching it, it was fine, wasn't it? Fight TV, brother. <laughs> Let's go. Um, but apparently there were some big issues with the TBS broadcast. Uh, Tony Khan tweeted about this afterwards. I'll tell you what he wrote. Uh, I apologize for the persistent issues at TBS Network uh, tonight with our AEW Dynamite as I understand, there were issues at TBS with a new operating system. Thankfully, AW's international feeds were unaffected. We're working now on putting out a clean feed on TBS West tonight. Uh, he later tweeted that, in fact, actually, the international feeds weren't 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 great. Um, <laughs> TSN, which is Canada, yes. uh, played the US feed of the show tonight, which is why they had the same issues on their oh. feed as well. So no, he is technically right. I'm just being a fanny. Uh, always sucks to hear about uh, technical issues, uh, particularly when they're not the wrestling company's fault. No. Um, obviously, TBS have installed the new version of Linux uh, or <laughs> Ubuntu or something here. Just go with Windows, lads. It's yeah. a lot easier. Um, and, and they've had some problems there. It's like, you know, when you get like an upgraded version of Windows and you can't play your like games from like 1995. Oh, Zool doesn't work anymore, brother. I'm sure that's what it was like. Yeah. Like, battle Bugs. It wasn't booting up. You ever played <laughs> Battle Toads. You ever played Battle Bugs? No. Oh my God, I got to get you into this, man. It's like, yeah, yeah it's a real-time strategy game where you command an army of insects in the kitchen. 
obviously. I was a big, I was a big like Age of Empires guy, so it Ooh, sounds like a too. bug version of that. Me too. Age of Empires too goated as yeah. well. Me and my flatmate used to, it's goated. We used to do a game in our house where we would, uh, where we were bored and too poor to go out during university. Mm -hmm. We'd do an Age of Empires game where we'd build 200, I think the limit was, just the villagers. Yeah. That have like, no skill apart from building houses. 200 villagers and then you just meet in the middle and have a big rammy. Oh. Every single time, it ended up in 50 of my dudes chasing the one remaining dude. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. And then that one remaining dude gets eaten by an alligator. Sensational. Is that where your love came from for the year? It, uh, it may be where the, the seeds were sown, mm. for sure. Well, let's talk. <laughs> I've no segue for this. Uh, this John Moxley and Ray it, Phoenix. It's, it's this is a disaster. A bit like <laughs> John Moxley and Ray Phoenix. It, uh, that was wasn't their fault necessarily, John Moxley got concussed. But uh, a new report has clarified what's happened there and the fact that referee uh, Rick Knox had heavy heat uh, backstage <laughs> after uh, that Moxley uh, oh, Phoenix no. International Championship match. Uh, Fightful Select has come through, uh, announcing not only um, did that obviously necessi necessi necessitate, yes? That still sounds That's weird, the, me yeah, saying it now. Necessity. Uh, Changes to Dynamite because yeah. they, because they, because uh, they switched the title, and that wasn't necessarily planned. But also, um, bugged up something they had planned for Wrestle Dream. Apparently, a non aw wrestler was to accost Moxley on Dynamite after the match, challenging him to an international championship match. But that obviously was scrapped when Ray Phoenix, you know, won the title. Um, this wasn't the first something, first time something like this has happened with Rick Knox, uh, and a wrestler wasn't protected, according yeah. to the report as well. Um, this report from Fightful Select said there's no word on who exactly the non aw wrestler would have been. I can now exclusively reveal from my sources, it's going to be Goldberg, guys. <laughs> yeah, he's really uh, got a reputation for working safe, safe and <laughs> snug and everything else. Ah, uh, Shaz Goldberg, I love Goldberg. Yeah. Um, yeah, bummer. Uh, that would have been cool. Moxley against a non AEW wrestler. It's always exciting to me still when people come in from other places and uh, interlope in mm. AEW. So that's a shame. No idea who it was. You speculate away. Goldberg, R Ryback, other other bald wrestlers. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure were in the running. Uh, maybe not Ryback because he's an idiot and crap. Um, <laughs> Nathan Jones. Nathan. Ooh. <laughs> He's Skill. bald, isn't he? Yeah, he's bald. Yeah. Big, huge man yeah. as well. Large guy. I feel sorry for them because I should not imagine them standing at Gorilla going, what's happening, guys? Yeah, <laughs> what's going and then on? they just get their bag and presumably go, I assume they'll eventually do this, though, so I don't think it's lost yeah. forever. For yeah, I think Moxley will get that belt back as soon as he's ready. They'll do something like, uh, you knocked me out, but I'm going to beat you or something. They'll do something. Uh, the Rick Knox thing, uh, obviously, last week, we were quite reticent to jump on the criticism bandwagon because we didn't have the full picture yet. Yeah. Now we are having something resembling the full picture with the various reports that have come out. Uh, Fifle noted that he's quite well liked backstage, but this has happened a couple of times yeah. on his watch. It's clearly something that needs to be addressed. Uh, clearly something where steps need to be taken to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Mm. Bad booking from Tony Khan last night. Jarrett should have won the title. Yeah. Uh, right, let's move on to your questions. I've remembered today to take them from the YouTube community page and we'll take some more from there tomorrow. So you've still got time if you want to get a question on the news. Go on our YouTube page, click on the community tab and there's a thread there for your wrestling questions. First question today comes from Robert Smith who says, who should Brian Danielson's last opponent be? I'm a sick freak. It should be Katsuyori Shibata. Oh my God. Purely for my enjoyment. Completed the question, Andy. Yes, he's completed his career after after he's done that, hasn't Jeez. he? Uh, yeah, purely for my sick, twisted enjoyment, that should be it. No no significance, just for me. I think I agree. I think you're close. I think a big sort of epic legacy match, The Miz. <laughs> Destiny Force. Big Short Cass, Big Bill. Reprise they they, the classic. They were, they were the interactions in the tag match the other week, yeah. didn't they? The oh, classic like feud, bringing it home. They're facing each other on, on collision this week. Are they? Four man, eight man. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Hey, watch out for Big Bill. Always. He's well, and coming. watch out for the shoe. Watch, watch out for the shoe. Jesus. It's a very expensive camera. It's a very expensive shoe. Uh, <laughs> Destiny Force says, short and easy question for you guys. What matches are you excited for at AEW Wrestle Dream? The, I look at the card and there's not really a match I look at and go, I can't be asked for that. It's a good card. Yes. It's a really good card. Top two, Shibata Kingston, number one, obviously, uh, and Zach versus Brian. Those are my top two, but yeah. really, I like the whole Julia and Chris has been built, built really well. I'm um, fascinated to see uh, Orange Cassidy and Hook as a tag team. Yeah, that's just weird. I'm into and it. And MJF in a handicap match. Against the boys, the gods. Especially now with the weird devil things like you said at the end of yeah. Dino Mate. You think yeah. uh, MJF's going to be able to see the truth? What what's the line? Two righteous believers who see the truth in the liar's eyes. 
I love them. They're legitimately, they're, they're class. Um, um, I Josh just, as well, doing it for the big boys. I Andy, love do you them. want to give us your predictions for AW Wrestle Dream? Uh, ooh, I will do that later. Not yet. No. That's coming your way tomorrow, as Andy said. Yeah. So uh, join us for that one. And oh, final yeah. question today comes from Rob776. <laughs> love this question, Rob. Me and Andy <laughs> popped at this immediately. I was like, that's going in. <laughs> Why are wrestling fans tedious tribalist goose? <laughs> wrestling fans should want every organization to succeed and thrive. Preach, Rob. Yeah, I mean, it's every online fandom to a degree, isn't it? Yeah. I think, like, if you think, um, if you think wrestling fandom's bad, I would implore you to expend some time exploring uh, you, European football oh. fandoms on Twitter. They're even worse. European somehow. football, uh, the Vampire Diaries. Yeah, like... I still remember the days when I worked in radio where One Direction and The Wanted were a thing, and that was like the the WWE versus AEW. You couldn't like both. Apparently, K-pop is really bad. Ooh. Like, to the extent where if you tweet about them, like, and you have a following, you will just attract a bunch of psychopaths your way. You'll be like, you can't like this! Ah! I'm going fishing today. Oh, don't do it, man. Flat Earth used to be really bad. Like, <laughs> one of my favorite AJ things, Styles would go after you. AJ, AJ was in my DMs. I did this a couple of times where I'd just, like, tweet, like, like troll the flat earthers going like uh oh. that's amazing people think the earth isn't round and stuff and you get people just like chiming in going ah explain this then and it's like a picture of an ice wall and you're like what the, what the hell is wrong I, with you i got called a sphere cuck <laughs> by these flat earthers i i i s-h-i-t sphere cuck jesus fenton but to go back to wrestling fans yes yeah i mean there's some borderline psychotic behavior online when it comes to wrestling fandom and all fandoms in general, but in the wrestling space, I think that what they do is they pick someone they don't like and they base their, or a company they don't like and they base their entire personality around it. Mm. You have people who base their entire online personalities around hating AEW. You have the same for WWE. Yeah. You have people who base their entire existence around hating Britt Baker or like, Pick a flavor of the month. Like they pick a new character for the Aubrey Edwards has had it at various yeah. points as well. But Brit's getting it at the moment because uh, I I read a rumor about her online. She had a match that I did. Like a, a person who you will never meet in real life, who you will uh, never reach the same level of success as she has done in professional wrestling and dentistry yeah. at the same freaking time. Uh, Cause she had like a match that didn't go very well against Taya Valkyrie. I hate her. Uh, She's right to kick back against these absolute freaks and pricks. Um, so is Danhausen. He's been good at this lately. Oh as well. yeah, body and fools. It's just a con it's a consequence of online life and hot take culture and uh, people being dipshits. Yeah, my <laughs> my favorite favorite thing with this is when the person that they've decided to hate or have just previously hated because they work for the wrong promotion switches sides. So the perfect example is. All the people suddenly being like, is Jay Cargill goaded? But when you look previously at their tweets and they're like, she's green, she's rubbish, she yeah. sucks. We'd never have her in the Fed. And then the polar opposite of that is like, Sasha Banks leaves and they're like, actually, did Mercedes Money ever have a good match in WWE? Yeah. And it's like, oh my God. You're insane. You're What's insane. Got? I will say this. I am a bit of a hypocrite because I do take a little bit of joy out of hating certain other football teams. Mansfield Town, for example. Oh, the part of the joy of football is rooting against your friends' teams. But yeah, for the most part, how about you just... I know it might not get as much engagement as you might want. Tweet about the stuff that you like rather than just burying people for, you know... Imagine if someone was watching you at a day-to-day -day job and they were like, you fucking copy that thing wrong, you suck! Yeah, it's insane. One mistake does not make... What is it? One summit doesn't make a summit. I don't know yeah, what the phrase it's, is. It's, a lot of it's just completely unhinged and it's like you can have conversations with people where you disagree and that's fine. Like that's what being an adult That's what the is. comment section's about. Exactly. But uh, nah, people people are just nuts. They're playing sports teams for promotions and wrestlers. Yeah. Uh, they're like, you'll get people going like, oh, this is uh, this is trash, this is garbage or something, and you're talking about someone that's been built by like a 15-year pro professional who's trained yeah. uh, every single day of their lives, and maybe they slipped on their way to the ring, or so, oh, this snap on this DDT wasn't like Jake Roberts used to do, it's garbage! It, I don't know. Yeah. People are freaks out there. I think uh, the best course of action is to mute block and just get on with your life. This guy gets it. The great muter in just, flipping court. Just be nice, and of course, watch out for the shoe. And watch out for this video. Bye. <laughs>